Welcome back to Candid Talk with Adele. Like I promised you last week, that the conversation is continuing. And this time, since you are convinced about the investment and why it matters, it's important that you watch this because we're talking about different portfolios that you could consider why your money will be safe. Let's get started. Welcome back, Mr. Zach Chisesi. Thank You're you so welcome. Much. Thank you so much, Adele. It's um, always good to have to be here. <laughs> it's always good. So yes. this conversation is continuing from last week. Yes. And uh, we convinced our viewers that they must invest. However, where should they invest? That is true. Where is their money safe? When you think about investment, we're looking about safety of our money. When you lose that money, it hurts. So, you have been in this business, you are working with UAP, and I think that we also need to separate it. There's UAP insurance, there's the financial part of it. Help us understand that also to remove that gap that people, from people who are watching. Thank you so much, Adele. Um, hello, viewers. It's always good to, to impart knowledge where we can <laughs> and learn as well. Of There's course. a lot of learning. Of course. Yes, so thank you so much. Um, yeah, so, last week we, we looked at the reason why investing is important. We said we are going to reach retirement, and by the way, if you're young, you may think you have 30 years, time flies so fast. I, <laughs> my mother is almost 80, yeah. and she says she was in school yesterday. So, so time flies. Don't think it is too early to start this conversation. So we have to invest this money. So where do you invest? So last week, I remember we stopped by talking about why you invest where there's a regulator. Reason being, when there's a regulator, there's someone you can run to. Um, it doesn't matter which business you're in. There has to be someone who is accountable to the market players. What do I mean? Um, someone has asked me before, tell me about um, uh, blockchain technology and things like that. I say it makes sense, but the question is, who do I run to? I can't run to the Bank of Uganda. If at all, sorry, an investor runs out. I'm not saying that it's a bad investment, but all I'm saying is that if you have that amount of money that you're not willing to lose, remember last week we talked about we should invest money that we're we willing to lose. lose. Now, yes, want to invest, but what about, so I have my 100 million, I can invest 5 million, but where do I put the 95 million? I think that's the question, because yeah. we say, fine, we're going to businesses, but we shall grow them slowly by slowly. We can't test the depth of a net with two feet, yeah. thank you. But what about the remaining money that I have? Where do I put it? And that's where... We're coming, um, and we're coming because I'm saying look for a business where there's a regulator because most of my clients because you asked a question that Zach we hear UAP and soon you're going to be here if all mutual because it's UAP all mutual yeah uh, we are doing a rebranding uh, we're about to start that but it has happened across uh, the region um, but the point is like where we work um, we are for subsidiaries because all mutual has been there since um, I mean for about, about 177 years about now it's coming to 178 years now in that period, um, we have built a business across, but then in Uganda we have four subsidiaries. Two of them are insurance companies, so you've heard of general insurance. For example, you want third party insurance, yeah. comprehensive insurance, one year insurance programs, products, you can go to them. Life, I am a father, I'm a person, but even if I person, I want the school fees of my children to be catered yes. for, then you go to life. We also have a properties company, uh, but we don't go into the market to really build a property uh, portfolio. No, we just have two structures, two buildings. One of them is the car business park, and the other is UAP insurance building. So if you're looking for office space, you can come for us. But the hat that I'm wearing here is one for investments, because we, I work with the fourth company, which is um, currently it's UAP or mutual financial services. Mm -hmm. So we're what we call a fund manager. And back to the issue of regulator. Um, we have two regulators. One of them is Ubra, that's Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority, which regulates us when it comes to pension. Because we have a number of clients who invest money for, for retirement. But then we also have CMA, which is Capital Markets Authority. And that is the regulator for retail products. Because yeah. there are walk-in products that you can get when you are an individual, you're coming and you're saying, Zach, how can you invest this money? Which we are going to talk about. So to cut the long story short, I always tell people that when you have that 95% of your investment, it's okay to put in a bank. Yeah. After all, Bank of Uganda is there yeah. to regulate. True. I think you saw what happened when Crane Bank closed. Very true. Bank of Uganda steps in and ensures that all the members are 
take care catered, of it. That's what I'm saying. So the interest may be little, but your managing risk your money is safe. Your managing risk now <laughs> if you're to get 50 percent of that money yeah 60 percent those are abnormal percentages you rather invest that in a business where you have the experience and a built time but don't put it with your pastor because if the pastor closes shop <laughs> or if the money is in an account where if the if the, 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 the if, if for yeah. example it's with a, a friend of yours yeah. and he has put that money in the bank but guess what um liquidators come to take the company they will take your money as well so that money which is supposed to be inheritance to your children supposed to be taking care of you during retirement put that money in a business where there's a regulator or a business where you have hands-on experience you know the biggest reason why most businesses fail in Uganda is because most people start businesses are part time, so they are starting businesses. Side and, hustles. Thank you. Which is very good. <laughs> Everyone has a side hustle. That's why with that side hustle, invest an amount of money you're willing to lose. Don't invest all your savings because that cousin, that brother, like the story goes, and I'm sure many of you have experienced, is going to do something with that money. Yeah. And sadly, you're going to lose. And remember, time is money. And so my worry is not losing the 95 million. My it's worry your time. is the 10 years it took you to raise it. So that bulk of money you have, invest where there's a regulator. Someone who, because you're not just looking at returns, your biggest focus is safety of that money when you need it. And that is what your priority should be. True, very true. And speaking of safety, one of the upcoming or call it popular things I'm hearing. So I went to this, to my bankers, and I was trying to transfer money to a trust fund. And this lady told me, today I saw three clients in the same hour transferring money to a trust fund. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah. I said, I have a friend. Yes. That's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's understand yeah. trust funds. Okay. This is becoming a phenomenon in yes. this city yes. and there must be a reason why. Yes. Yes. Tell us about trust funds. How does this work now? Okay. Thank you so much, Adele, for this platform. Um, basically, your you're the lawyer, you're the student, yeah. you're the circle, you're the cameraman, you're out there. Remember, you have your own business, you're investing, but there's that money on the side that you want to sell. And you want to sell it in such a way that even if you passed on, your beneficiaries will have access to this money. Sure. So basically, um, the trust fund, what, which we also call the unit trust, is what we call a collective investment scheme. So this simply means that it's a pool of money which we get from all these individuals we have been talking about. And when they give us this money, we invest on their behalf. Now remember, who is us? In my case, it's UAP or Mutual Financial Services. Yeah. One, we are regulated by Capital Markets Authority. Yes, so, so our money is safe. So the regulator is like <laughs> this headmaster at the top says, you have received money, but this is how you should invest. Yeah. So now, how does the regulator restrict us? The regulator says, when it comes to unit trust money, you must invest only in regulated products. What are my regulated products? I'm saying that we invest only with commercial banks and the Central Bank of Uganda. Only. We are not allowed to invest this money in private businesses because the risk. The is risks high. are high. And remember, this is money for people that they are. They, I mean, this is money which they want to use for retirement. This money, even not even retirement, you want to use this money to invest in your private business. Remember you are a lawyer, remember you are an engineer, you do not have the time to run this side hustle. But what you want is that all this money you've been saving for so many years mm -hmm. is under self-custody. So the regulator says, Zach, you've received money from the public, yes, we have given you a license to do that. However, when you're investing this money, you have to invest strictly with commercial banks and the central bank of Uganda. You are also allowed to invest with publicly traded companies. These are mm -hmm. companies which also have, are regulated, so yeah. buying shares of companies and so on and so forth. Now, there are three major reasons why clients have really fallen or have, have really embraced. embraced this product. Yes. One is three major reasons. The first reason is that they tax exemption benefits. Currently, interests are tax exempt. Of course, we work within the laws of Uganda. If this changes, we fall. But as of today, as we speak, um, unit trusts are tax exempt. So, what does that mean? If you went to a bank to fix money, you'd have to pay withholding tax. Yes. 15%. If you went to buy a treasury bill as an individual from a bank, 
you would have to pay 20% with all the tax. Meaning that for every 100 shillings you make, 20 shillings stays with the taxman and 80 shillings is returned to you. With us, we are tax exempt. Your money is your money. Yes. You get it as is. Thank you. So we don't pay that with all the tax. So that's already better. That's, that's tempting. Very tempting. Yeah. The second um, reason why clients uh, come to the interest is because you have access to your money. If there's one thing that COVID taught majority of people who are on this forum is that you can be asset rich but cash poor. <laughs> I will, yes, that I is agree. a lesson. I agree. Very true, Adele. <laughs> Adele, you're at home. Yes, you have the land titles, but you're at home and your business has closed. Those land titles mean nothing when you need food at home. There's no money. Thank you. And there's no one to sell the land to. Very good. At that particular time. At that time. particular time. That changed the philosophy of many of In fact, if you ask me what was the turning <laughs> moment of the unit trust business you got, that was the time? it was the COVID pandemic. Oh, okay. That really caused an inflow of clients because people, that's what they say, learn from your mistakes. So many people got on board in the interest because with the unit trust, you can pop up your account anytime. There is no pressure. It can be, we don't even say every month send money. It is as and when, in fact, some people, their first deposit is their last. It's really up to you. But better off, you can withdraw any time. Within 48 working hours, you have money in your account when you want to withdraw. It doesn't matter how much. Is that, is that true? Yes, it is true. How does that benefit the unit trust? How does it benefit the unit trust? It's just like, um, it, for those of you who have done accounts, <laughs> banks work on a principle called, I uh, mean, they go in concern. I mean, uh, and also, it, you know, the assumption that not everyone who's depositing is also withdrawing. Yeah, true. You true. understand? Very eh? true. Yes, so not everyone who's depositing is also it's withdrawing, true. which is very, very important. So even as when you open up the fund, everybody, I mean, we're investing this money, but it's also open-ended. So it means you can withdraw your money anytime. And that even, you'll be shocked, causes customers to even invest more. Of course. <laughs> of course, that. Look, if I can access, if I have a pressing issue, yes. I have 100 million in a yes. unit trust fund right now, as an example, and I have a very pressing issue that needs attention. I can take that money out Correct. and bring it back later. Bring it back. You don't even have to explain to Zach why you're withdrawing. I know I have my, my good clients who are listening. <laughs> you say, but how will I talk to Zach that I'm removing my 200 million? Please. In fact, that's the reason why we are with you. Yeah. We are just temporary custodians to your money. And when Adele, you have a need, maybe you've got that experience that we have talked about, you can withdraw and go import from China, go and do anything, you can do that in there. And that is actually the number one selling point of this product. I agree. Accessibility. Totally. Accessibility. And that is what COVID taught us. Have <laughs> near cash investment. It's good for everyone in the village to know you're the richest man, but cash flow is key. You need to have investments that are generating cash. And that brings me to my last point, yeah. which is daily interest. Your money is going to earn interest every single day. Every single day. So what does that mean? Uh -huh. If at all you open, you plan to invest with us long term, mm -hmm. but along the way, two weeks later, you got an emergency and you had to withdraw money. You withdraw money plus the interest has made for those two weeks. If at all, say you wanted to withdraw your money. In those two weeks, I will have interest. Your money earns interest every day, and that's the reason why, for transparency reasons, we send you monthly statements mm -hmm. within the first week of every month. And it breaks down your interest into everyday, daily, daily interest rates plus the in, plus the interest your money was making. And then on top of the monthly statements, we give you online access. No way. Yes, I did. Why should you wait for a statement every month when you can log in today and say, "What did I make yesterday? Let me check." My so I can keep service. track of my money. Twenty-four-seven, two a.m. in the night. You can log in and see how much my I money. I think you're going to take Uganda and Zach. Let me tell you, Adele, happening. The, how you build a business. You build a business by creating opportunities. Now, yeah. one of the challenges that many of the people in the market have had is that there have not been many options available. Now, I'm sure there are many business people also watching this. Business, with business, business is so sporadic. Business is so, um, it, it, it is so unpredictable. And that's the challenge that fixed deposits have had. I'm going to fix money in a bank, but the problem with fixing is I have fixed for six months. I'm a businessman in Chikubo. True. The Chinese has called me and told me, if I buy now, <laughs> you have 80% discount. Then you remember, oh, oh my, my money, money is, in is in a fixed deposit. So <laughs> that is the reason why this has created a great opportunity yeah. for quite a number of people. And so 
as we keep growing because currently we are market leaders because we have about 70 percent market share and this is a one point about five trillion market now Whoa. now the thing the beauty with that is that you have now built what we call confidence the market has built confidence because many people actually say let me start with one million when they can withdraw they say i think i've tested the system let me send much more but just you need to know one thing that you're saving through investing but also where we are investing that money is what is so important we're investing this money strictly with commercial banks and the central bank plus publicly traded companies so you're not worried about losing your money and that was going to be my next question is there a possibility that i can actually make a loss because some investments um, they can call you and say uh, we invested somewhere and we got a loss that is true so in this case is there is there at a point where i can make a loss okay the answer now um there are different types of unit trusts, yeah. okay? The best way to look at it is a short-term investor, a mid-term investor, and a long-term investor. True. So for short and mid-term investors, we have what we call the money market fund and the umbrella trust fund for short and mid-term. Um, the money market really looks at, um, I'll give an example. I am Adele. I own a micro money lending business. You know money lending, people come every day. Yeah, true. So you want to give us money, but it's for your business. And the kind of clients who are going to be in the money market are the clients who need to withdraw more aggressively. True. So what happens is that the investment team behind the scenes invests this money in very short-term instruments. Treasury bills, one-year fixed deposit maximum. Yeah. Because the kind of people you're looking for are people who need to withdraw aggressively. Money. An example, Adele, you have your successful business. So you want to give us money that you need to access on a weekly basis, maybe to pay transport to photographers, cameramen, you know, that, that, that money that runs your business on a daily basis. So that operations account, you can give it to us, we invest that money, but then your clients, because you're withdrawing aggressively, will invest in the money market. And that's why it has the lowest interest rate, but you still earn money every day, which is important as opposed to attracting charges in a bank. Now, when it comes to umbrella, umbrella is for mid-term clients, and this is the most popular yeah. unit trust because here we invest in longer term but still safe investments, meaning long-term bonds, 20-year bonds, 15-year bonds, 5-year bonds, long term. Now, the beauty about that is that you, you're getting the same return as long-term investment, but you still have access to your money in the short term. Interesting. That is the commonness. And for money market and umbrella, yeah. your principle is protected. You cannot make a loss because you're investing with big tier one banks. You're investing with the Bank of Uganda. Yeah. These are the safest investments because with the Central Bank of Uganda, remember they're borrowing on behalf of the government. True. And they're the safest investments in any country. And by it's not only locals who participate in this uh, the, 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 uh, buying the bonds yeah. and the bills. No, even foreigners. So remember, the government can print money and also control taxes. So it can always increase on their <laughs> money. So in short, yeah. in any country, the safest investments are treasury bonds. At the, and that's where the money, umbrella trust is heavily invested. Now, to answer your question about can you lose money? Yes. Remember now, what, for, when you look at being a long-term investor, so you're that individual and you're like, Zach, I want to invest. But I'm not looking at getting my money in the near future. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the next five years, the next ten years. Yes. Okay. Yes, in all the interest, you can access your money in time. But remember that the difference is the underlying assets. Mm -hmm. So now, when you come to the balance fund, we are really looking at a long term event. Someone who's looking at getting money in the next five or ten years, because there we invest in shares of companies. Mm -hmm. Now, in the short term, a company's share price can go down. True. So you could lose some money. But in the long term, because you're getting dividends, it's being reinvested. You, you, in the long term, you'll always make quite a good amount of money. So, for those long-term investors, say five years, ten years, two presidential cycles, we always recommend the balance fund. So it's important to know which fund you want to be in, so and that you can manage your expectations as, a, as an investor. Correct, and that's the reason why advisory services come in before you become a customer. We give you correct guidance, advice on which fund source. But from our, from, from the different funds, there's no Ugandan who wants to get their first statement and they're seeing a loss. That is the reason why <laughs> many Ugandans, majority, go That's for the umbrella true. trust, midterm. I want the highest return, That's but service, I do not want to see any man a reduction 
in my budget. So that's the reason why most Ugandans say, we don't want stories for us, we shall do our <laughs> private businesses. But we want to have that safe, safety. We don't want to lose money. So that's why most clients are... In their so, well, as we conclude as well, yes. there is an important question. Interest rates and money compounding. Correct. The interest rates. I won't say where is it now or where is it going to be. I will give that. It's quite, quite. <laughs> and, and how does this investment or a trust fund compound to put me in a comfortable place to say, you know what? Yes. This is something I can recommend right. to a friend. Very good. Thank you. I think that's the question of interest rates. Just yeah. how do the interest rates work? Um, now, in, in finance, it is standard practice to quote interest rates per annum. Interest mm -hmm. rates are always quoted per annum, meaning per year. Yeah. The, that is standard practice. So even if you're investing money for one week, standard practice is interest rate will be quoted per annum. That is our standard. So now, um, the interest rate is not fixed. It floats, meaning it changes every day. Reason being, we're investing money every day at different rates. But of course, the expectation is that being a fund manager, you should negotiate at higher rates than what an individual would get if they walk to the bank, which is true in the case of, say, uh, fixed uh, deposits. So um, if I get an interest rate today, say currently we're at about 11.4, 11.3% because that is actually where we are. But sometimes the rate could go lower, could go higher, but since inception we have not gone below 10.4%. Now, now, the beauty about this interest is that when you're going to earn interest today, it's going to be, your closing balance is going to change. Yeah. And tomorrow you start with a new balance. Per the interest and the previous, the previous year. day. So it doesn't matter what you started with yesterday. Tomorrow your balance will have increased. And so when the interest rate tomorrow is applied, it's going to be applied to your yeah. new balance. So your interest and interest. Yeah. So if you look at the growth of your investment over a period of five years, it's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be a curve. Because interest and interest every single day over a period of time causes exponential growth eventually. And that is the beauty. That's the reason why clients. So I always tell my clients, even if you start with one million, even start with the minimum start with is hundred thousand. Even start with hundred thousand, find your interest may be low. But remember, even in your work of life, you'll keep earning more. You'll keep going higher in your place of work. You'll keep on start small. You know, I always tell people, don't 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 always think about the big money. Yes, <laughs> you don't have the ten million, start with what you have. Yeah. God always gives you some start with. As you prepare for that business you want to start eventually. This money has to be kept in a safe place. And that's why we are saying start with as low as 100,000. Let your money keep growing slowly but surely, gradually. Keep adding as you keep on progressing. Before you know it, these small, small monies eventually grab into an empire. Honestly, this, this conversation okay. is very, very important. As we conclude this, that please look at the viewers. Yes. Just three things you'd convince them with to make sure they join the trust fund. It's very important. For me, I already became your customer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because I was convinced in another yes. forum. So please, let's get other three customers on this forum. Yes. Um, thank you very much. Um, one of the things that I want to say is that time flies. Yeah. Time flies. You don't have to have a lot of money to start saving and investing. You can invest through saving. And that's what you need trust to do. They give you a platform to save, but at the same time, your money is being invested. So start small with where you are and keep growing. Secondly, when you're starting a business, please if start with an amount of money you're willing to lose, unless you're investing in a business where you have personal experience. I'm not talking about the experience from a friend. Yes, I'm talking about you getting experience. Yes, your friend has a successful shop, but that is not your shop you will have to pass through the same process as they did when they got started. And because of that, as you think about which business to invest in, put your money in the unit trust. Let that money grow, let it compound, let it compound until the point where you're wise enough for you to go into your private business. Because at the end of the day, a private business is the most successful business. We'll not give you the same returns as a private business will give you. But guess what, we are your investment partner. Yeah. We are your partner to be your custodian as you keep growing your business. When you want to withdraw even up to zero balance, we'll give you all your money and your account will keep on. We will wait for you till you send us money. So 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 have that have that 
mindset that we are your business partner even as your business grows we shall still be your partner to be that kind of safety net when you need access to your money and um, um, I must say Adele I'm a Ugandan <laughs> I want to tell uh, viewers that I'm passionate about my country just like you are yeah this is the place to be what you just need to do is to generate the right skills that are going to place you in a position of success because if you look around the world I invest money actually um, across the region we have a lot of conversations with our research teams all over the globe I can tell you the markets which are attracting the most questions are the emerging markets they are the they are the uh, you're looking at the frontier markets mm -hmm. these these markets in Africa we actually are asked the most questions because a dollar has the highest return in mm -hmm. this continent and that's why a lot of money is actually coming into the African continent if you're looking at foreign um, uh, foreign direct investment, a lot of money. So the question you should ask yourself is, how am I positioning myself for future business? Am I a farmer? There's a lot, there's a whole airport that has been constructed, you know, uh, you know in, for in the oil region. Am I producing enough? Because I can tell you, if you reach a point where you are a large-scale producer, I can assure you there are so many people who need <laughs> your supply and your issues I don't have enough stuff. Right, right. So what I'm still trying to say is, if you become the go-to person in your industry, it doesn't matter what you do. If you become the go-to person, the success industry, you don't need to go anywhere else. Stay up because all that foreign money is coming here. Sure. How positioned are you to take up that success story? Thank you so much, Adele. Wow. Um, it's been an amazing conversation. And I promised myself that I'll bring this to you because I found a secret. I want to share with you, if you can invest in trust funds, it is safe. Your money is safe and the expert has told us what you need to do step by step to get to that level where you must be as an individual. In the meantime, you must come to the new Nanjing Hotel because everything exclusively beautiful and classy is right here in this place. If you want to discuss trust funds, you bring your family here, sit at a round table and discuss because it is a very important decision that can change your life. It's changing mine. So let's grow together and let's get accountable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment so that Zach can come back here sometime in future and answer that question. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.